when records are broken, but now weather able to talk about broken records. Yeah, you know what? We did. We broke a couple records today okay. here in out the Willamette <laughs> Valley. The only locations that really didn't was out towards the Oregon coast. Today we topped off at 102 Portland. I know you felt it. You just had to go out there for, I don't know, two, three minutes and it was very warm. You were probably starting to sweat. That was the previous record right there, 100, 2020. That was just a few years ago. It was 100 degrees there in Vancouver where we set a new record today at 101. All the new records up here at the top there, all the previous records right around here. Yes, another one that we could speak of is 111 there for the Dallas, tied a record, 103 at Salem also tied a record. And then you could see that uh, Redmond beat their record by a few degrees. So it was really quite the toasty day, but we were expecting it. We knew this heat was going to arrive. It started on Sunday. This is the third day that we have approached 90 degrees or above, but it was our first triple digit day where the heat was really cranking. 111 again for the Dallas. 102 come now bend. Knows the Oregon coast though. Nice southwest flow, keeping it cloudy and keeping it cool. Actually, it was about a 20 degree drop from yesterday's high coming out of Astoria. 72 for Tillamook, 59 for a high today in Newport and 61 degrees for Florence. If you have the availability to go to the Oregon coast, maybe the next couple of days or heading into the weekend, you may want to think about it. It'll definitely be a relief from the heat. Well, here's our heat headlines. I have for tomorrow another very warm day. I know that you're ready for it, but uh, Sometimes this type of heat could still be surprising, so just get that water bottle filled on up and make sure that you're staying pretty cool. Stock up the freezer, get some ice, and do what you can. Uh, some extra details I do want to tell you about, though. Air quality still going to be a little bit lower for tomorrow, and it may even continue into Thursday and Friday. And we'll also have some high-level smoke, kind of a haze trying to move on in. As far as potential records for tomorrow, 103 degrees, 2009. 106 on Thursday and 106 on Friday. We'll have to take a look at Saturday here soon and see what the record is for that. But that was the heat wave in 2009 that lasted quite some time. We had 10 days where we were at least 90 degrees or above that point of time. So, all right, here's what we have going on tonight. Notice that we have this southwest flow really cranking, and that's bringing in some monsoonal moisture. A couple thunderstorms earlier today in southern Oregon. But riding over the top of all of this is that ridge of high pressure, and that's what's leaving us nice and warm for now and for the next at least four to five days. Here's that high level smoke forecast. We're pulling in that smoke from those wildfires to the south. It will hang over the top of us from Washington down through Oregon, likely through Wednesday and of course our Thursday. Here's the forecast zone. So for tomorrow, the north coast right around 70 degrees. The central coast, yeah. Newport about 63. The PDX metro area in the upper 90s that goes for the central valley. The western gorge about the same. The Hood River area, probably about 100. The Dallas, again, pushing 107, 108, maybe even 1, you know, 110 again. Government camp temperatures in the upper 80s and still plenty of heat there for central and eastern Oregon. Again, here's another way to view that ridge of high pressure. This whole section of orange right here that usually indicates warmer weather and sunnier conditions. Notice that doesn't really go too far as we go through the week. In fact, it starts to build back on out as we go Saturday and Sunday. We're waiting for this little drop right here to push everything out of the way, and hopefully that will arrive on Monday or Tuesday. Temperature departure is going to be in the red. That means we're going to be above average for the exception of maybe the central Oregon coast. Through the overnight hours, temperatures very mild too in the upper 60s. Friday morning will be at 69 degrees, maybe somewhere in the lower 70s here downtown. All right, seven day forecast. I have said 100 degrees on Thursday as well as Friday, upper 90s on Saturday, Sunday at 91. Not bad and slightly cooler. And then we get to the mid 80s on Monday, which is closer to average. We'll keep an eye on this. If this heat does continue into next week, we'll let you know. In the meantime, we'll see you on the other side of the break.